Well, changes are coming to the city's two-week curbside large item pickup. Harder's Cleaning and Waste Management Service tells us its contract with the City of La Crosse was not renewed because of financial constraints. The company normally picks up bulky items around graduation and move-out dates for area universities. UW La Crosse is now unveiling a new program to try and help fill the void. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall joins us live in studio with the details. Jeremy. Ken, according to a statement by the City of La Crosse, large item collection is no longer provided by the city. Items that are too large or heavy to fit in your garbage cart are considered a large item. It is the residents' responsibility to dispose of large items. While the change could cause difficulty for students living off campus, those living on campus at UWL will have an option to keep many of their bulky items out of dumpsters and off curbs. Keila Kittleson remembers moving out her freshman year. I didn't really have anywhere to put my futon and my other stuff, so it did sadly go in the dumpster. Luckily, students on campus won't be facing that issue. Next month, five storage containers will be placed near campus dumpsters. It's part of UWL's Reduce, Reuse, Reimagine program. The aim is to be able to give students the opportunity to be able to take their things from their dorm rooms. And rather than putting them in the dumpsters that end up in the landfill, we're going to be putting them in containers that will be taken to Habitat for Humanity. We see a professor, Emily Whitney, got the idea after walking through Habitat's Restore Center. I passed off my card to um, one of the folks that was working there, and they got it to Amy Smith, who is the director of sustainability. And she gave me a call and said, hey, we have been trying to do a dumpster diversion program on the UWL campus, would you be interested in helping us get that um, moving forward? Whitney agreed to the program. She says it's a great idea because we don't always think of how we can reduce our consumption or reuse an item. She says it's also saves space in our landfill. If a landfill gets too full too fast, we have to find another huge chunk of land to put that landfill on and then create all of the infrastructure to make that landfill work and safe for the community and the surrounding areas. The program comes at a critical time for large item pickup as the city of La Crosse is discontinuing its contract for bulk pickup. We just had a contract with the city of La Crosse to do it yeah. and then they uh, and then they decided not to do it this year. Once again, that was fine. It was mutual, you know, I mean, there wasn't any uh, any problems there. They just said that they weren't going to do it and that was, they just, you know, and, just and the way it goes. For now, the program is only available for students living on campus at UWL. Though the university says it hopes to collaborate with Viterbo and Western Technical College to expand the program to those campuses in the future. And once the pods get full, they will be taken to Habitat for Humanity and another one will be brought. Once they're empty, the university, though, will return the pods to the company they're renting them from. Ken. Thank you, Jeremy. Reduce, reuse, reimagine runs from May 2nd through May 12th.